Hey, what's up guys? It's Simu here back on video. So first thing, sorry for the lack of videos. I had some problems with YouTube and stuff like that. But today guys, we are going to take a look at how to make this really cool banner using Android. So if you guys would like to make it, first thing you need to download the app that I'm using right now. It's called Photoshop Touch. It's familiar for you guys probably because you already heard about it. So if you guys don't have Adobe Photoshop Touch, the link is actually in the description below. You can download for Adobe Photoshop Touch for free. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead down and download this uh, like banner template right over here and keep in mind this is a youtube banner template so it's not like twitter banner or something like that it's specifically being made for youtube now let's go ahead and head over to the video so first thing create a brand new empty layer and place that down uh, below the banner template just like that then fill that with the color that you like so the color that i'm going with right now is dark blue just like that just because i like it and if you guys would like to just use another um, like color go ahead and go for it but i think light blue is the color that i'm rocking with right now so right over here you can go ahead and just uh, create a brand new empty layer and make sure that it is above the background that we just created and then go ahead to the power gen selection tool in the bottom left corner of the screen and then go ahead and just hit on show pointer it's going to be it's going to make the things more easier for you to work with so as you can see now i'm going to have and just uh, create a brand new triangle crossing at the center of the screen and and then I'm going to have and just uh, do it just like that and I think that actually should do the trick. Now you need to make sure that the triangle is actually not using the dark side of the banner or otherwise it's going to look super ugly so I'm going to have and just remove this selection this area of the selection so just like that with the Pyogen selection tool you can remove it. Now we have this like clean triangle just like that so hit on that end side, end, end side sorry and hit on fill and fill this with the like a lighter color than the first color so this is blue I'm gonna have to just go with the light blue just like that and that should do the trick now once you are actually done with, with that you can just do, like add a different effect so I'm gonna have to just add a drop shadow effect just like that so as you can see as you can see the drop shadow effect is going to make the triangle looks more cooler and you can just stick around with the options until you will find the correct uh, like options for you so I think this is the options that I'm rocking with right now and I think I love it just like that so here we go now once you are actually done with that as you can see if you remove the banner you will have this like shadows below uh, the triangle which is pretty ugly so you're gonna go ahead and just select it with the power gen selection tool as always just like that so let me go ahead and just put this right over here and I think I'm actually done so once you select the shadows hit on that button right over here and hit on clear and then you will have like clean a triangle without shadows below it which is what we need now for the next step we are going to add some sort of uh, like borders right over here so I'm gonna head and just add one on the bottom left corner and one in the in the top left corner as you can see right over here so I think that actually should do the trick and once you are done with your selection let me go ahead and just finish up this one right over here so there we go so once you finish up your selection you can fill those with whatever color you want so I'm going with white just because I love them just like that and if you guys would like to change the color go for it it's all up to you how you love it so now let's go ahead and just add a text so first thing you need to add your name in the center of your banner so I'm gonna have and just add my text my uh, like name sorry so I'm going to make sure that it is on the center so make sure that it is on the center so like in this way the people will be able to read it when you apply it on your youtube channel just like that and i'm going to add a drop shadow into it and there we go so now for the borders you can go ahead and just add whatever you want to them so for example in the top border i'm going to add my content name so my content is android tutorials i'm going ahead and just to create a brand new text and i'm going to type in android tutorials just like that so let me finish up this one and uh, oops let me go ahead and just fix that and there we go so as you can see now you can go ahead and resize it and put it on the banner so there you go and for the bottom banner i'm gonna have and just add subscribe if you guys would like to add a brand new sentence as always go ahead and go for it but i think i'm going to subscribe and also guys make sure that the border text is not touching the red area of the banners so like that the people that are using mobile will be able to 
still see the text which is what we need and now if we disable our banner as you can see right over here we'll be having something like that so just to make it look more natural I guess we are going to just select the area that we was working on just now so as you can see I'm gonna have to just select this area and hit on that layers tab right over here and hit on this button and hit on that layers tab then hit on marriage visible and once you are done hit on that plus button right over here on the layers tab and once that done hit on layer from selection so you'll be having a brand new layer on the area that we always working on and basically now add a drop shadow and as you can see right over here that looks more cooler and actually now I'm done with this uh, like banner right over here I'm actually done and if you guys would like to add more effects go for it if you want to just change the text of the border go for it and if you guys would like to change the color as well go ahead and go for it but I think I'm gonna have to just leave it for you guys right here I guess I'm done with this banner so thank you guys so much for watching this video it really means a lot for me if you guys just like this video and also guys check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you didn't join me already and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video peace out Thank you.